Well, I'm gonna fix some wires. And some of you uh, believe that, yeah, yeah, we want a civil war, we're gonna clean out the commies. Well, not so fast, Mr. Uh, gunslinger. I'm gonna show my honest assessment of what the advantages and disadvantages are on each side. I'm not gonna do music, this is gonna be a quickie. Okay, we're gonna start with leadership. We're going to start with leadership, which is, of course, vital in any war. And I'm looking at the left, I'm looking at the right. The left doesn't seem to have much in the way of leadership. They're depending more on mob violence than anything else. On the right, there's some who don't want to, uh, want to just kowtow to the left and try to mollify him. This was the problem at the Battle of Gettysburg. A lot of people don't realize that the Civil War might have ended right there, but General Meade let the Confederate Army go, and that got a uh, nasty response from President Lincoln who said, is that all? So, I'm going to say and this one, I'm going to say this one's rather inconclusive. So I'm going to put the cursor right there. I don't think either one has a really clear advantage. Now for uh, Mr. Gun Gung Ho Gunslinger, weaponry. Clear advantage on the right, no question. Uh, that's one advantage we do have, unless the liberals, the left manages to seize control of the military, in which case we're screwed. We have a clear advantage there. Numbers. Well, not only do we ha does the left have X number of you know, 100 million people or whatnot in this country on their side. They also have illegal aliens pouring across the border, which Donald Trump has not stopped yet, and he's largely being uh, prevented from doing so. And guess what? They're all on the side of the left. Numbers are one area the left has a clear advantage in. Propaganda. As far as propaganda goes, uh, left has that one locked completely. I mean, they have the leftist media, they have the schools all the way down to uh, primary school, They have that one locked up. And they have the Democratic Party, obviously. There's no question they have a severe advantage there, and propaganda is vital to any war. If you're talking about a shooting war. Territory. Um... Well, I'm not sure which states of uh, what the area is on this one. We have a number of states that are in open rebellion against the Union right now. That The short list includes California, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, New Hampshire, uh, New York, I'm behind enemy lines, uh, another, uh, one or two other New England states. I would say, but the right has 
most of the midsection. Kind of like in the movie Red Dawn. So I'm going to say the people on the right have some advantage. Okay. Now, allies. Well, who are the allies here? Who has allies? Well, the right has none. The allies on the left are the UN, the European Union, Mexico, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras. Need I go on? Pretty much all all the Latin American countries are on the side of the left. And they probably will uh, participate if this goes to shooting war, which I personally am hoping it doesn't. I want Americans to settle down, find a way to work out their differences, and stop all this nonsense of threatening public officials. You're not allowed to do that. Stop all that nonsense, and let's learn to find a way to get, get along. Because I don't want a civil war. I don't want to die like that. I want to die peacefully in my sleep. Everybody dies. At any rate, the left has a clear advantage. They will have many allies. In the original civil war, neither side had any big allies. There were some Indians fighting with them. But read it and weep. This is about what I figure as far as what we have here. Now, in the original Civil War, the South had the leadership. But this is not going to be the same as the original Civil War. And you're not going to be uh, fighting with muskets and cannons for crying out loud. It's going to be brutal street-to-street -street fighting, if it goes violent. I think we need to try to avoid that. I don't want this. If you think that there's going to be some war, this is, these are the things you need to consider. I'm not at all thrilled with the possibilities here. You know, they're going to have Cuba on their side. And who knows, maybe even Tommy China will intervene. It's hard to tell. But we have all these different states that are in rebellion right now. So this could break out. This could get out of hand. Even though I'll admit it. You know, California, Oregon, Washington, Colorado... New York, Hawaii, New England states. There's probably a few that I missed. Good luck with this one if you really th uh, think you want a civil war, because I don't. Uh, can't we find a way to work on our differences? Please. I agree with Michael Savage. Let's stop the coming civil war. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve of this message.